Hi everyone, Sidra here. Welcome to another day in Stardew Valley. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Spirits feel neutral today. It's gonna rain tomorrow. That's interesting. Museum, community center. Let's see if any crops grew today. Pick up the gold, gold bar. Ah, the cranberries are done. Excellent. That's always good. Oak resin. Some grape wine. We're actually going to make more grape wine, but I'm going to give this to the community center. So we'll do that as well. <sighs> How are all of you doing today? doing okay <laughs> not as not as great as I would like to be doing but I'm doing okay we pick all the cranberries No, we don't want to eat them. <laughs> no. There we go. I need to water the plants. Um. Sometimes, and this is this is a, a tip for all you uh, new. Let's players out there. I don't know if any are watching. Who knows? I could just be saying this and nobody really cares. But, uh, just some advice from a veteran now. I've been doing this for, for years now. Plural. <laughs> I don't even know what, uh, the channel anniversary is coming soon. About a month and a half from when I'm recording this. Well, no, not quite that much. A little less than a month and a half. Um,. So I've done this for a while, so I've seen the channel grow. It hasn't grown anywhere near as much as I was hoping, but uh, you just keep plugging away and working at it. But you can't... Times change, and... You need to keep that in mind when you do when you do this. Because while you may have a great community like I do, some people stop commenting or get busy or just move to another channel or, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff can happen. But and then new people start to comment. And then they just have a different flavor of their comments. It's not that they're mean, they're just different. And then sometimes you get mean comments, and that's <laughs> kind of what I've been dealing with a little bit. Not necessarily that they're mean, but it's like, and I, I, I should have been ready for this to be brutally honest, but it feels like on some, some videos, maybe not necessarily this Let's Play, I mean it's blind so I don't care to too much when people point things out, but that every little decision of mine has been, uh, like, put under the microscope recently by commenters, and I know some of them are just trying to be helpful, but just, you, you gotta let that slide, and I'm trying to get better at it. Because it, 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 sometimes it feels like a, a just backseat gaming or just being, you know, just think about if every little thing you did was criticized. <laughs> it's, it's annoying sometimes just to be brutally honest about it. And I know some, like I said, I know some people just want to help because that's what we're about here on this channel. We just want to help. It's like another gloomy day. I don't know. 
Leaves are falling. I don't think it's that gloomy. Hey, Robin. Need any materials or blue blueprints? My shop is the place you're looking for. Thanks, Robin. But, uh... You can't let it get to you. I said some are some are just wanting to help, and some people just want to be mean and just be like, "Ha, ah, yeah, I, you know, I did it this way. This is the optimal 100% way to do it. I'm better than you." And you just can't pay attention to those people. And it's a lesson that I'm learning now, <laughs> but I'd like to share. <laughs> so if, if you're a let's player, you just you can't. You can't pay attention to those. You just kind of got to... You got to have confidence in doing your own thing. Which I know some people have had some... Some problem with. Just reading comments. Some some Let's Players because they... Uh, some new Let's Players. And, you know, asking for some advice. I don't know why I'm talking about it here. I should make a separate video for it. <laughs> but hey, I'm talking about it here. That you just got to have confidence in what you do. And not let the detractors get to you. You just can't. And, uh... I mean, it, it, it will, at some point. Has to me. Kind of why I'm talking about it here. But then you learn to just... To just say, hey... I'm doing my own thing. If you don't... You know, if you're just going to criticize every little thing, I'll just say, okay, or whatever... And you can have fun with that. And as long as you're having fun, that's great. But don't expect me to... To like it all the time. Does that make sense? I don't want to come off as a mean person. Because I'm not... I'm not a mean person. <laughs> Just in general, I'm not a, I'm not a mean guy. I, I try to make people happy. It's one of the biggest reasons I do this. It's my way of, uh, of helping people. And I take a lot of pride in that. Um, but not everybody is nice back. Sadly. And sometimes people don't think that they're, uh, that they're doing anything wrong. You know, they're just trying to help you. But in comments, sometimes it doesn't come off that way. So you gotta keep that in mind as a Let's Player too. That communication is key. You can talk, you know... Yeah, still working on the goal next. I'll be ready more. Uh, you can talk, and it's easier for you to convey how you feel. Maybe not. <laughs> but you have... Um, you have the medium of voice. Whereas comments is just typing. So, like, a helpful tone... May not necessarily come through in a comment. Or, like, a sarcastic tone. Or a joking tone may not necessarily come through in a comment. It's why... This is funny. Let me talk about this. Um, this was a while ago. This was year, year plus ago. Uh, there was a person commenting on my videos who was disliking the videos. I kid you not. Because, you know, I like to put the uh, the happy face. Where I use, like, the... Uh, I forget what it's called. But, like, the carrot and then the underscore... And then the, the carrot again. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, you know, my, like, really happy face. Because I use that a lot. And there's a reason for it. It's so you know that I'm happy. <laughs> I try to use those to help convey the feelings that I have when I'm, like, really, you know, happy at a comment or it really made me laugh. You know, I'll put LOL, like, in all caps. And let you know. Because, again, there's a lot of things that don't get through in comments, in just text. So this guy, like, got so upset. I think it was the guy. You know, it's, you never know. Um, got so upset that I did that on a lot of videos and a lot of my descriptions. Because I have a lot of fun writing descriptions. That uh, he was disliking videos. He just did it on a few videos. And it was... I want to say they were... <sighs> Advance War videos... No, because it, it was... It, it was a while ago LP. Like I said, this happened like a year plus ago. And uh, it was just... I was just like, really? <laughs> really? That's a really dumb reason to, to dislike a video, if you ask me. 
<laughs> to like hate somebody just because I'm trying to show emotion in my text. That way people know that I'm laughing. So anyway, that's just the, the lesson of the day. Just remember that uh, as a Let's Player, you gotta let some stuff slide off your back. And it's really hard. Trust me, it is. But you uh, sometimes you gotta learn to do that. And I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Try to get better. And two, that text doesn't always get the meaning behind your words. So try to be, you know, clear in your text. That's why, you know, I always, you know, say that I'm laughing or that I, you know, thank you very much, you know, for commenting or... You gotta let your intentions be known. Because you can try, and I, I've had this happen on, like, uh, like a Let's Player that I watch. And this was a long time ago, too, but it just kind of got brought up to me recently, you know, back into my consciousness, that, uh... I pointed out a lot of things, and he got fed up with it. And it's like, oh, you just criticize every little thing you do you, that I do, you know, kind of like how I feel, how I've, how I felt recently. And you know, it just took me aback, and I was really sad because that's not what I was doing at all. I loved him as a let's player. I haven't watched his stuff in a long time, uh, just because I kind of moved on to doing my stuff, and I put a lot of time into this. I was pointing it out to try to help him because I loved him as a Let's Player. He just wasn't great at games. <laughs> like, I'm not great at games <laughs> every, every once in a while. Or a lot, depending on your point of view. And I was just trying to be helpful. But to him, it didn't come off that way. And that took me aback, and it's... It's why I've, I've tried to be... You know, that, re that really changed how I commented. I used to not be the person that put, like, a lot of, like, you know, smiley faces or, you know, kind of really just explain, try to put more into comments, like, typing more stuff out. Because, you know, I just didn't think about it. But, like, he thought I was just being super nitpicky all the time. And I wasn't. I was, you know, generally a huge fan, and I just wanted to help him. And, you know, I thought it was, you know, kind of a, a fun dynamic we had, but it was not fun to him. <laughs> so, those are just all things you have to keep in mind. I guess not only just as a Let's Player, but I guess as a subscriber and a fan, too. Sometimes your intentions don't, uh, don't come through. Sorry if this is really too heavy of a topic, <laughs> but it's just something that, I don't know, I just felt like talking about. It, uh, you know, sometimes your words just don't, don't convey how, how you feel, especially in text. And I learned, I learned that. And sometimes, you know, you're, you're still, it's still fallible. You know, as, as the, as the Let's Player, I have a, a, uh, advantage when it comes to that because you can hear my voice you can hear when my you know when i'm sad you can hear when i'm really happy you can hear when i'm just okay um because you can hear the tone in my voice and the tone makes a big difference but it's hard to convey tone in text this kind of goes back to my uh, news writing classes too that was something that was uh or not just news writing, but just my uh, writing classes in general. That uh, that was really important. You know that my teachers always, uh, my professors, I should say, my teach my professors, give them the credit that they're due. <laughs> um, really, really conveyed to me too that it's hard to capture emotions in I mean you can do it you can capture emotions in text but it's it's so easy to have have text be read the wrong way sometimes not that you meant it to be but it just can be it's because that's how text works you don't have facial expressions now you don't have facial expressions here you can't see my face but you can hear the tone in my voice and that helps a lot 
And you don't necessarily get that with text. I thought I had oak resin. No, because oak resin built something. Oak resin builds the keg, right? I'm going to store that one for now. Um, do that tomorrow. Maybe, if I remember. No, I better do it now, or I'll forget. <laughs> I have the clay, copper bar, iron bar, and wood. Copper bar, iron bar, keg. Guess I gotta put the grape in there. Why not? Uh, I never went to the, uh, what time is it? Oh, we can go to the community center. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Because I think it's important. An important thing that gets lost these days in this highly digital era, era that we're in that uh, when you just use text, it can be read a lot of ways, just depending on the person's mood, just how they read it, you know, it's, it's really important, I feel like. Uh, mines. I just walked from the Mice Community Center. And, you know, like I said, you know, I've, I've been on both ends of that, <laughs> of that exchange. So, it's just something to keep in mind. You know, keep that in mind when you, uh, you know, in... Again, this is where it's like, oh, you're talking to me, Syndrome. No, I'm not talking to anybody in particular. I'm just saying, in general, it's just a good idea to keep in mind. You know, and you don't have to have, like, a, like a super uh, long comment, either, to get... to get your point across if you're just leaving a nice comment. You know, it's, e it's easy when you're leaving a nice comment. You know, I love your stuff, Syndra. Well, thank you very much. You know, that, that speaks for itself. Um, that's all I'm going to talk about it. I'm probably not even going to respond to any comments in the, uh, in the comment section about it. Just something I wanted to point out. Kind of my two cents on the thing. You know, feel free to comment and tell me what you think. But, uh... I don't know. It's just something to talk about this episode. Something that's kind of been eating away at me. And this is the... This is the Let's Play where I kind of, you know, just... Talk about how I feel. <laughs> what's what's going on recently. Things like that. It's... I'm really lucky, y'all. I really am when it comes to my community. Because I know most of them, most of you, I should say, <laughs> speaking to you, the community, are, are nice to me. Are nice and you care about the videos, you care about what I stand for, you care about the message of the channel, which is to have fun, which is to shoot for the stars, and what I always mean by that is to go for your dreams, that no dream is too big, you can do it if you work hard enough, that if you really try, it's something you're passionate about. You you love it. You can do it. We're about hope, light, all that all all that that stuff on this channel, all that positive on this channel. And a lot of you embrace that, and that means so much to me. I'm so lucky in that regard. I, I really, really am. Never ceases to amaze me. Anything else today? Um, I think that's it. Kind of cleared my mind. <laughs> 
I wanted to talk about all of that. Because it means a lot to me. Especially you all, the community. Those of you still watching this series, whether it's in the future or now. And you're still having fun. You're still enjoying it. You listen to what I have to say. Um, I love being a Let's Player. I love the message that I try to put out overall with the video. We have fun and we focus a lot on the games, but the overarching message that I have... For the channel is to be positive and to hope and to smile and it's a really important message to me in my life and I think it's an important message that sometimes gets lost in all the the yelling all the hate all the um that's the word for it. All the, the hate and yelling in the world, in the world as a whole. And I try because I'm human <laughs> and I'm not happy all the time. But I try to keep this the most positive, happy place that I can overall on the channel. Because I think it's important and I think it's a place, I want it to be a place where people can come and have fun and not worry about all the junk that we shouldn't have to worry about. But that sometimes we do. I hope that all made sense, everything I said this episode. And if it didn't, I apologize. <laughs> I'll go back to maybe talking about some more goofy stuff because <laughs> I like doing that too. Just some more fun stuff. Next episode. But uh, regardless, thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you had a lot of fun. I just walked around a lot. <laughs> I watered everything, right? I got so lost in the conversation. that, uh, And I kind of just went all over the place there, so... Sorry for my rambling. But... I still hope you enjoyed. Had fun. And that you're smiling, you're enjoying these videos, you enjoy all my videos. I'm not perfect. Not by a long shot, but I try really hard. And I super care about this channel and all of you, the community. Never forget that. Monoculture, okay. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Maybe because I sold a bunch of cranberries. Mono, one. That's what I can think of. Got 12,175 from the cranberries. That's good. I kept a lot of cranberries back. You might have noticed that. And that's to uh, gear up for winter as well. Because I could still use it in wine. I could still use the cranberries in wine. I could... Uh, it's not pickle when they're fruit, right? What do I do with, with fruit? I forgot. I haven't done that in a while. Anyway, you know, put them in the preserves jar. I can still use those through winter even though I'm not growing anything. So if you're wondering why I've held a lot of cranberries back, that's why. Until tomorrow, um, I hope you all have a great day. That you smile and... Just have a good time today. I hope for that every day, but um, today I really hope for it, especially considering some, I, I guess, some you know slightly heavier topics. Uh, kind of getting into the sometimes how a let's player feels, um, some of my personal experiences, things like that, and. Until tomorrow, keep smiling. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.